New data shows the Bay Area is getting hit harder than other areas of the state right now. ABC 7 News reporter Dustin Dorsey looks at why this is happening and when the cases may drop back down. When talking about COVID news, we're used to hearing troubling information, but amid what doctors are calling the latest wave, some good news. Despite a rise in cases, UCSF's Dr. Monica Gandhi says hospitalizations are only slightly upticking, if not remaining stable throughout the Bay Area. What is happening is that cases go up, but our hospitalizations are staying low. That was actually true for the vaccinated with Omicron, BA1, and Delta, but now it's everyone because there's been so much natural immunity. But now the tough news. Nine of the top 10 counties with the highest COVID infection rates are Bay Area counties, according to state data. Over the past two years, working from home, health mandates, and other protections have kept cases lower than most places. But UCSF's Dr. Peter Chin Hong says that's now allowed for infection to spread as people return to normal with overall lower natural immunity. Everyone's tired of the pandemic and we wanted to recapture some of the missed opportunities we had during the pandemic by meeting people, etc. But make no mistake about it, there's a lot of COVID out there right now. So how can we protect ourselves? Dr. Chin Hong says it's best to keep your COVID smarts about you, get boosted and mask indoors if concerned of serious infection. But he thinks a bigger measure may be needed. I think we probably do need a new vaccine because the virus has evolved very much since the original vaccines, which were based on the original variant. But now uh, if we want to prevent infection, um, we may need to have a new vaccine. Thankfully, in the short term, Dr. Gandhi thinks cases should normalize soon. How long until we could kind of see that lull come back, you think? That's actually a very good question. I would say that the cases, hopefully, at least the models that I saw from UCSF, will peak in two weeks and then come down by end of May. So hopefully we're looking at a better summer. And that would be good news for all. Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.